Hey, I'm Red. Today we're gonna go over bell melodies, more specifically dreamy trap bell melodies like Moonlight by XXXTentacion. I have broken down the simple secrets behind making a melody like this one, and today I'll show you how you can easily start applying the techniques used in this song to make better beats. With that said, let's begin. Okay, the first thing I want to show you before you decide whether you want my advice on this is the final melody I created using the simple step shown later in this video. If you like the melody, then I got a bunch of tips for you so you can start making your own right away. And if not, well, I have a bunch of other melody breakdowns to my channel for you. With that said, here's the final melody. Moonlight's melody has one main element, and that is the bell pad. This is a very distinctive bell preset on Omnisphere that not only plays the notes once, but also automatically plays the notes again one octave higher. If you don't have access to Omnisphere, it's okay, you can still just use a simple bell one shot and use Fruity Delay 3 to get a similar effect. This melody was made at 128 BPM in the A minor scale, by the way. Step 1. Which chords to use? This is Moonlight's main chord progression. This chord progression is made out of three inverted chords. By that, I mean the notes in this chord are not where they would originally be in a regular chord. All the root notes have been moved one octave higher. This one was here, this one here, and this one here. Now, why would they do this? Why would you change the notes in your chords like that? Well, let's listen to the chords before and after and see if you can spot the difference. This is how it was before. This is once inverted. Well, they made these changes for two reasons. First, the progression has way too much low end with the roots one octave lower. And two, the changes between chords feel a lot more natural like this. So there's our step one. Use three chords with the roots inverted. Now onto step two and three. Where to place those notes? Going back to Moonlight's main progression, it's easy to see that these chords are not all right on beat. The second one comes in one beat too late. This type of progression is really common in emotional beats, making the second and also the fourth chords come in too late makes the progression feel a lot sadder, especially when the chords are descending like this one. And this is where the magic of this bit comes in. If you listen, the chords are going down, but the notes, they're going up. The chords going down makes the melody emotional, but the delayed notes going up makes it feel more dreamy and comforting. And this contrast of ideas is what makes this beat so unique. And that's why it's going to be hard to make a melody using this preset that doesn't immediately remind you of Moonlight, because melodies like that are kinda hard to forget. But let's worry about that later. For now, we already know our steps 2 and 3. For step 2, we need a descending chord progression. And for step 3, we need a delayed second and fourth chords. So now that we have our steps, let's make our own chord progression. For the sound selection, I'll use the Gamelan Wheel preset on Omnisphere and add this effect to it. Some reverb to make it spacey, chorus to make it bigger, cut out the high end. So the first thing we need is a scale, and that's going to be A minor. Now we need three chords in a descending progression. In this case, I'm going to use the D minor and A minor. I'm going to use these two chords because I don't want the change between chords to be that evident, because if the chords are too present, you'll immediately be reminded of Moonlight. And both of these chords have our tonic note, which is A, here as a fifth and here as the root. Now the switch doesn't sound very good, luckily we already know what to do to fix this, we need to invert the chords. This one will go down an octave and this one will go up an octave. Also I'll add this passing note here to finish the step 3, which says that we need a delayed second chord. That sounds much better, but it still sounds a little too much like Moonlight. To fix that, we need a top melody. In this case, we'll use some vocal chops. And for that, I'm going to use the hooked preset on Arcade and add this simple progression. And also add this effect to it. Half time to make it darker, EQ out the high end, lastly, reverb and delay. Oh. 
We're almost done. Now the last two touches for our melody to be ready. First, a reversed reverb intro. For that, render your melody to audio, highlight this part in Edison and click this button. Now reverse it and done. I also want the melody to have a tape stop effect before it loops again to make it more interesting. So let's add that. Done, our melody is ready. Now some chill drums. And done, that's it. So to recap, you need four main things to make a melody like Moonlight. Step one, use three chords with the roots inverted. Step two, descending chord progression. Step three, delayed second and fourth chords. And step four, a top melody. Before I play the final beat, if you want to download the melody loop I made in this video, there's a free download link in the description. I make two beat breakdowns a week, so if you want more of this, subscribe. And as always, see ya.